Hello all. Today I'm talking about Passion Tide in the Catholic Church. Now, Passion Tide begins on the fifth Sunday of Lent, the last two weeks leading up to the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, and it commemorates the solemn time uh, and the Lord's Passion as well. The Church amplifies the Lenten season as we get into this Passion Tide. Now, each year we hear from the Gospel of St. John on Passion Sunday. In this liturgical year, year A, 2020, we have from John 11, 1 through 45, or the Lazarus Gospel, where Lazarus dies, Jesus weeps, and brings him back to life. Um, and it, we have a preview of the power of Jesus over death, and that Christ would uh, have a few of these uh, instances from this Gospel come to life in his passion and in his resurrection as well. Passion Sunday in Year A shows uh, that final sign that the Sanhedrin needed in order to condemn Jesus to death. It starts the passion process for Jesus because we know that sometimes anticipation, good or bad, has more emotion than the actual event itself. Now in church during Passion Tide, there's three major differences you're going to see. The first will come out and smack you right in the face, and that is the crucifixes. They'll be covered in purple. And you can't miss it. Um, the crucifixes, the images of the Lord, crosses. And I always thought it was most stark that you'd go to church, you'd look at these, and catch your eye, and the people would come down for coffee hour. And even the crucifix in the, in the coffee hall would be covered as well. The second difference that you might not notice, but you're hearing something, is that the organ's just a little bit different. There's not supposed to be any preludes played before Holy Mass, uh, no postlude after Mass. And no interludes, or as I like to call it, walking music during Holy Mass. It just makes it sound different, almost ominous as well. And the third difference is the elimination of the doxology during Holy Mass, or the glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Uh, we change that to, Lord, for us your wounds were suffered, O Christ Jesus, have mercy on us. This happens as Mass begins, and also during the Mass as well. Uh, the final thing that's beyond the three things you notice during Mass is that the parish is to scale back social celebrations. Um, it's not like Christmas where just this past year, a couple months ago, on December 22nd, we're able to have a Christmas party because though Advent is about anticipation, Lent is a penitential time, especially in the amplification of Passion Tide. So as we wait just a few more days until Passion Sunday, I ask that perhaps wherever you're going to view Holy Mass on Sunday, you find, whether it's purple cloth or a people purple t-shirt, to cover the crucifix or cross in that room so that you're reminded of the solemnity of the day and the solemnity of the Passion Tide.